Hello! My name is Navigator. And in today's video, man, that hello was super uh, enthusiastic, but in today's video, we're going to be talking about some issues that uh, me and others have been facing with Foshnot. All right, I want to get through this as quickly as possible, save you guys some time. So number one is the nukes. Of course, every year, people like to nuke Helvetia, and uh, this is the way that I feel about it. Number one, people are entitled to nuke it. If you are able to go and launch a nuke anywhere you want, you have the complete right to do that. I don't see a problem with it. Point two, and kind of piggybacking off of that, you can just hop servers if you don't feel like being there for a nuked event. I understand some people like to have their camps there. You know, you can't put your camp down other servers, but that's just how it is, man. You got to roll with the punches. Second thing is, too, you can wear power armor, you can wear a hazmat suit, you can wear stealth armor, and just get it done. I've done it myself multiple times this year, doing the event in a nuke zone, and honestly, it is a lot better. Um, sometimes the enemies will end up being glowing, and you can get more loot from them. Moving on, though, and we'll kind of come back to that idea later, is that, uh, and this is kind of the biggest issue, a lot of people aren't getting masks. And I'm going to try to do, say this as briefly as possible. Guys, I know it's tough. I know it sucks. But that's how it is. That's Fosh not. I told you this in my guide. It's a 5% chance to drop. It's always going to be difficult. From my standpoint, and the reason that I don't see a problem with it is, uh, I mean, I guess I just have good luck or something. I've ended up getting a lot of masks this year, but there have been cases in the past. There have been two years, in fact, where I went both two weeks without getting a single mask. I had to trade for or do whatever. So I've been there, trust me. But what comes around goes around, and you will get your share. Hopefully, you'll get your share this week. But um, the 5% uh, drop rate is... That's what puts the value of these masks on a pedestal. They are very rare. And me, as a merchant, I want to keep it that way. I want to make sure that these masks retain their value, and that way I can kind of covet them and put them on display and show them off to you guys, because it is a feat uh, getting these masks. And I'll leave it at that, folks. Once again, though, good luck to all of you. I really do mean that. Some other little tiny things that have been happening. Number one, it's saying that the objective uh, isn't completed when it actually is. For example, you'll go over to the, I don't know, the porcelain stein robot, and you'll give him all however many, like, ten steins. And it'll say that you have completed it, but the little thing in the top corner of your screen won't go away. The event still carries through uh, as normal. It's just kind of a visual bug that I've been noticing, and uh, it happens almost every event, if I'm being honest. But once again, doesn't really affect the play of the event, so it's not that big of a deal. Number two, when you load into a server, and I, I don't really have evidence to back this one up, this is really my own opinion, but when I load in um, after my Xbox being off, or maybe I'm just server hopping to find another event, uh, I'll load in at like right on the hour, maybe one or two minutes after, and I can see people doing objectives, and I can see the robots moving, but for some reason the event doesn't show up no matter how long I stand there for, and uh, I don't know. It's kind of been an issue for me where I'm like there on the hour, trying to load in, and no matter how many times I go from server to server, no event is popping up. And I wonder if that is affecting any of you guys. Please let me know down below. Number two, kind of going hand in hand with that, is that when you load into the server, it seems to be crashing. And uh, this is something that uh, I've noticed in the past, and I'm assuming this is because of the player volume in Helvetia. Obviously, if you load in and uh, as soon as the event starts, everybody is flocking to Helvetia to get there. So it kind of makes sense that you might crash, given the fact there's going to be about 40 million players there. All right, moving on from that. Um, yeah, server not loading. I'm trying to see what else we have here. Oh, here we go. I can show you guys this one right now. Uh, this is the glowing Scorch Beast Queen mask, believe it or not, but you actually can't see it, only little tiny parts. You can see the little uh, ponytail there in the back. He's got some whiskers and the teeth, but for some reason... um. You cannot put the Scorch Beast or the Scorch Beast Queen mask on display. I've tried it over here on my normal Foshnot mask display, and it does not work. I've tried other displays, and once again, it does not work. So this is kind of just a visual issue, and um, hopefully they, they finish it soon because, you know, like me, I want to have everybody come and see these masks. I want to make a video showing off all the masks, and I want you guys to be able to see them on display. So hopefully they uh, fix this. I mean, honestly, hopefully they fix this tomorrow. That'd be really nice if they did that, but I don't know. A little, a little bug there, so beware of that if you did want to put those masks on display. You can see here that the Blue Devil one does work. Have not tried it with the Honey Bee mask, but once again, the Scorch Beast and Scorch Beast Queen masks do not work on displays. So there you go. If that is just me, by the way, let me know. I want, I want to know that. All right, what else do we have here? Um, This one I can actually get out of my chair and show you if you give me a second here. <coughs> Excuse me. Getting over bronchitis here. 
if we head down into this little valley here, you can see my camp is just here below Horizon's Rest. This, well, if I can get over there fast enough, this little spot right here is where my camp was last year. And unfortunately, you cannot build this close to uh, Helvetia anymore. The reason that this is, and I did hear about this from some people in my comments and other players, is that last year and in years prior, camps were affecting the event and when the event started. Sometimes if a camp was too close or a camp item was too close, it would um, prevent the event from triggering, excuse me, triggering or carrying on uh, with its processes. I don't know, but it is probably a decent thing and a good thing, a good idea they move the camps back and that way it does not interfere with the event at all. But if you guys were curious as to why you can't build your camps there, that is most likely why. All right, that is most of the issues out of the way. The last thing I want to talk about here, and I'm going to be very brief about it, is about a certain somebody named Foxy Raven. Uh, I think it's TV. Yeah, Foxy Raven TV on YouTube. And they have like a big issue with people AFKing the event. And normally I wouldn't take this personally, but they're saying that people who encourage those to AFK the event should not play games, or video games as a whole, not even just 76. You go, <laughs> whoa, my bad folks, you guys watch my ultimate guide, you know that I encourage you to play, uh, to AFK the event, but only in a case if you are working, if you have family stuff to do, if you just can't be there but you still want to get these masks, AFKing is in my opinion, and I guess if we're talking about this from a moral standpoint, it is a morally decent thing to do. You're not really harming anybody by doing that. Uh, he does make the case of there not being anybody to play the event and everybody's just AFKing. But in my experiences, that is not the case. That is not true. Uh, if you're going to load into a server where everybody is AFKing, the event's not going to start. You have to talk to the Master of Ceremonies to start it. So I'm calling BS on that one. If you load into a server where there are people AFKing, and for some reason, I don't know, like God trapped you, and Todd Howard trapped you in the server, and you have no other option, you can do the event super, super easily. You could do it solo. I've done it solo. My girlfriend has done it solo, and she has never played this game before, and that is a fact. Literally last night, she did it solo. All right. On top of that, another point that he makes is that 50% of the server are AFK and the other 50% are playing. That means if you have, I don't know, four people there, two are AFKing and two are playing the event. If you have 10, five are playing the event, five are AFKing, you can still get it done. That, that, that point is moot. I have no idea what else to say um, about that. But the number one thing I can say is that this guy has made two videos about it, and I just don't think it's cool to go around telling people what to do and what not to do, and harassing, well, not, not so much harassing people, but, and this is, take this with a grain of salt, I have heard that he's been, like, reporting people for this, uh, then again, though, I, just forget about that, I don't even think that's true, but bottom line, it's not cool to tell people what to do and what not to do. Of course, you're entitled to your opinion, but I don't know. Just mind your own business, dude. It really seems like you have a major issue with what other people are doing. I think you just need to focus on yourself, worry about yourself, and go touch grass, my man. The only reason that I'm mentioning this in this video is because I didn't want to comment on his because he's saying that he was going to uh, censor and block people and report people for commenting on his videos and stuff like that. That's not cool. But here on Navigator Play, channel I can say whatever I want and there's nothing that he can do about that so all right maybe that was a little mean there but Foxy Raven if you do see this I would like to have an actual discourse with you about this I think it is a little unfair a little unjustified for you to be criticizing people for AFKing when they have legitimate things going on in their lives. You say in the comments section that, you know, you've heard all the excuses. Me, personally, I think that if you have to go work or if, if you want to go take care of your kids or if you want to sit on your butt and do nothing and jill your controller once an hour, you are entitled to do that, folks. So, there you go. I'll leave it at that, and uh, yeah, that's all I got for you guys. Once again, these were some issues for the Fosh Not Day event in 2024. If there are any issues that you've noticed that I didn't cover, please let me know in the comments below, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys with some more, uh, I don't want to say good, but some more 76 content later in the week. Yeah, just joking there, folks, but as always, my name is Navigator. Have a nice day. Take care.